Introducing Mexico's only harmonic egg, operated by Hunas Maroyata and Maaikuta. For all of your health support needs, be it physical or emotional, sessions are available now, both in Playa del Carmen and online. To book your session, head to www.apapachar.earth. Let's get into it. I want to invite our brother and uh, entrepreneur, Huna Maroyata, uh, to the stage, uh, proprietor and owner of Harmonic Egg. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Very good, very good. We're five by five. Welcome. Always happy to have you here for a visit and... Uh, of course, yeah. it's cool having you as a neighbor too. <laughs> it's cool uh, being in Mexico, even though it's cold. Is it cold? <laughs> it's cold. It's yeah, cold. It's one, cold. One below. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't be deceived by the weather. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. Uh, we're over here in the, the tropics, and uh, it's a little cool this uh, winter, which would be 70 degrees for us, 60 maybe. For you, you will laugh at us probably. Um, but you still have to take care at, at night. You can still get a sniffle. Um, so you've had a, a bit of a whirlwind past month, haven't you? Uh, you've been out networking, you've been out. There's been people making the registering bookings coming in. Yeah. Give us a, can you, can you offer us a little update? Uh, um, hey. yeah, I mean, you know, we've now been. Uh, up and running for two months um and yeah we've been you know we've been doing quite a lot of networking um networking with like people that live locally and finding out how how it all works down here because it's it's a little bit different in mexico than other places um but we're slowly getting the word out and we're slowly also it's like anything we we're navigating the system, we're navigating Mexico, we're navigating having a business. Because like you said before, I mean, 12 months ago, this this wasn't even possible. You know, 18 months ago, I'd have laughed at you about Mexico, but here we are, you know. I, I've said it before, you said my li our lives would change and <laughs> boy, <laughs> how, how right you were. Um, but it's been really nice because the... You know, we're now we're now realizing how powerful that this healing chamber is, and how many things we can help with. Um, we've had people not just locally. We've actually been doing quite a lot of remote sessions. So we've had a lady in Hawaii. We've had somebody in New Zealand. We've had ladies wow. in in America, the UK, Lithuania. And the stories that these people are telling us, even though they're not physically here, it's incredible. And it's like, you know, if you'd have read it as a testimonial, you wouldn't have believed it. So, you know, we've not only got the fact that people are visiting here and we've had some Hoonas come and they've seen you and then they've come afterwards and they've been blown away. So slowly, you know, we're, we're turning things around and it's, and it's fabulous. Incredible. Um, you will have testimonies coming up soon or you're adding to the website? Adding to the website. I mean, on the website, there's um, on the first page, there's a whole heap of testimonials on there, not just from our clients, but from clients all around the world. Sure. So people can look on there and see like specific things, you know, so they might look at pain or they might look at whatever. And there's a testimonial for those. So yeah, unbelievable. I mean, some of the examples, we've had people turn around and say, you've changed my life. What do you mean you've changed your life? People quite often will hold in um, trauma for a long, long time. You know, we've had somebody recently who had held in trauma for 30 years. And it's the mm. first time now they're dealing with the stuff that's coming up that this, this device, this chamber is helping with them. You know, I mean, like, you know, we're spiritual beings, we're light. When your body's out of balance, it creates a condition or disease. Um, you know, the body spins out of control. What we're doing here is we're recalibrating every cell of your body 
and turning it, you know, helping it with optimum health, peace and health and, and harmony. You know, how, how do you explain that? Yeah, you. OK, so without <laughs> getting all technical, right? This feeling that we're getting now uh, in the atmosphere. Uh, when I say atmosphere, I refer to land, water, sky. Mm. That's creating our atmosphere. Anything we are, we, we are higher vibration, raising our vibration, ascending, if you will. And anything we touch, sweet, sweet, dear one, sweet, dearly beloved, I mean this. Anything we touch and anything we put our focus to, providing we have the sacred breath as our intention, whether it's breath or your intention, providing it's highly, highly, extremely sacred. We are calibrating the atmosphere to these intentions. We are bringing that on. We are making that connection. That calibration is happening. It's been happening, of course, individually, small pockets here and there. Now with the technology that Tuna Maroyata is bringing forth and those who created it, um, accelerating the process, making it accessible, making it accessible. It's going to be so much more of these technologies. But the feeling in the in the atmosphere today, this technology, uh, I would say, what's the word? It helps to bring bridge the gap. It's helping to bridge the gap. You know this this theme. The theme is E four equals M C cubed. Everything for everyone, everywhere, every day. And as such, there is little need for anything. Okay. That's because, and in my understanding of, of, of it all, of it, as I spoke those words years ago, that all we, can, all we need to do is sit together, hang out. Mm -hmm. We get we get to the point now where we can hang out together. And, and your connection, your telepathic connection, everyone's telepathic connection, healing connection, expanding connection, ascension connections. Someone said earlier here and a moment ago said, called it tachyons. But well, I'd rather not call it a tachyon if you don't mind. <laughs> I've got other words for it. I, in the indigenous words, we say ihi, we say mana, we say manaki tanga, we say aloha and aroha, we say these words. So much more. Okay? Tehining aro. Emerging of the minds, okay, the merging. We call it also te hono, which some of you might understand it as hono, ho, uh, ho'oponopono in the Hawaiian, which means to merge, to, to join. So when you do that, when you are joining, when you are te hono, um, what, what, what makes that process evolve and what makes that process manifest and anchor is the, what falls away the things that fall away, that do not serve you. And you might feel like, oh, I forgive you, I love you, say these words. Well, that's part of it. But what's really going on is you are releasing the blockage and you are releasing the obstacles that you have placed on yourself and your relationships. Now, Maruyata, uh, the egg, that's, it, what's the word is it? What's the the key word in your in your uh, in the Healing key, chamber. Yeah. Well, what's the key word? Why they what do they call it? What is the key words in the title? The egg, harmonic egg. Harmony. Not egg. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a harmony. It's a it's a harmonic, it's a, it, it creates harmony. Exactly. That's the key energy. Harmonics. In the harmonic, there's, there's so much expansion, so much healing, of course. And I'm getting carried away here. I told you I'm going to be a big gangster. Because I am excited for what's coming, you know. Um, and speaking of what's coming, what do you have lined up for uh, the next few months? Can we put you in the spot? <laughs> Can I put you on the spot and say, hey, do you have the next three months kind of thing? Is there something exciting? Is there an event you're going to you're gonna we're, host? Yeah, your... we're, yeah we're, we're looking now um, at – having a grand opening in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we're just seeing the alignments um, of, you know, the best time to do it. Um, 
we're also in discussions with um, other like like-minded people to maybe do some breath work in there, um, meditation. Um, we're not, you know, we're not, we're not sure. Um, but uh, the the whole thing is is actually about getting people in and having it as like a little mini community. And so really? you know, that's 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 where we're going. But you know, it's 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 work in progress. It's work in progress. And uh, you know, the House of Huna is going to help you. Yeah, I'd like to help you with some of those ideas and uh, just like even little evening or something of a of a book reading. Yeah, and they come and have snacks. As long as yeah. you got food, I'll be there. Okay, <laughs> food, I'll be there. We're, um, I mean, you know, one of the one of the suggestions recently has been like uh, having like a Zen lounge. So we actually have yeah. some soft chairs. And people can just relax, and um, maybe we have like the music, the the harmonic music in the background. Now, the 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 way that this you know our chamber works, the harmonic chamber works, is that we have forty minutes of music and ten minutes of silence. And it's really interesting that the ten minutes of silence is as important, if not more important, than actual music itself. So there's, you know, one idea is actually people can just come and be in silence in the energy of where we have, you know, the uh, the chamber, because the energy in there, in that room, is very special. Being next to the jungle, being next to the, the you know, the Mayan um, temples, yeah. and, and, you know, with the resonance and the frequency that this produces, it's a very peaceful and calming place. So even if you don't physically, you know, go in it, you're still getting a benefit. You know, we 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 receive benefits every time somebody goes in the chamber and has yes. a session because we're getting the frequency as well. So we're benefiting on whoever's in there. We've had people sat on our settee and cry. Yes. Just from the the, the energy that they're receiving when they're not even there. You know, mm -hmm. so, so that's the sort of way we're going now. It's it's expanding what we're doing you know this is like we're on the ley lines here you know there's there's portals here like you said before this is tapping into that energy and that frequency and amplifying it tenfold a hundredfold and people are benefiting all around the world yeah we've got a we, we've i'm going to really push you to get some dates together okay because <laughs> this is a lot of fun and while i'm at home and i'm not home a lot as you know but when i'm going to be home you know, I've got all kinds of instruments behind me. You can see behind me, I've got all kinds of keyboards, three or four of them, and guitars and machines and stuff, uh, drums and all that kind of stuff. I'd love to come and play some music and just yeah. have a little chat and people gather and, and we can just sit. That Absolutely. would be fantastic, mm -hmm. you know, because it benefits, of course, uh, myself as well as you and yeah. our community, growing, growing our community here. And making really good use because I know I know what it costs to run that building, that what it costs to run a building like what you have, and uh, and we talked about it, uh, you know, just the other day or uh, uh, at dinner. Yeah. We say, let's make use of this building. Let's 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 have a party. Let's have a party, sweet sweet dear ones. And you're all invited. Like I'm just already inviting everybody to a place <laughs> to <go> already. already. <laughs> certainly a jam session. Certainly. Um, uh, because uh, Hunaka Hasahi will be here, she's bringing her violin, and we're dying to do some music together again. Mm -hmm. We'd love to figure out a date after my birthday, of course. Yeah, and, um, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you, I can, I'm going to rush you to do to do figure <laughs> that out because the cook, the sooner we do, yeah. Well, as I say, the next couple of weeks, you know, we're going to be opening up and like letting everybody know about this place because it's it's we've had to understand, you know, the power of what we've you know what we've got and and you know we knew we knew before but actually having people in there you know in person and remote and then getting the feedback has been phenomenal um you know so somebody somebody asked us recently well why haven't we got any more video testimonials you know why don't you get somebody to come out of the chamber and give you a testimony straight away well the answer is that this people need time to actually work out what's just happened because they're, because they're all gaga and can't walk yeah, they're, they're, they're like, yeah. no but it's like it, they're so relaxed and so calm that 
you know, I asked somebody yesterday, like, how do you feel? She said, I need some time to actually work out what's just gone on. But she said, I feel so relaxed and so calm. I don't know quite what's happened, but I feel fantastic. So, you, you know, <laughs> the last thing you need is just, can you just smile into the camera, please? And <laughs> yeah. So, but totally. it's, yeah, it's good. Absolutely. I, I, I'm the same way with when I'm doing the seal and these things are, I don't push him for it right away, but I'll tell you what, you know, um, as we, as we do these networkings and then do these events, of course, sweet, sweet dear ones. I don't know. Maybe you can, uh, um, maybe you can send an email to upapacha dot earth, send an email that, you know, maybe we can, um, go live or do a quick hello mm. on the, on your channel. Uh, and have you create your new channel where we can just have these little events and we can make it live on your channel. What do you yeah. reckon? Yeah, this absolutely. is all part of it. Yeah, I'm we throwing everything in here now, brother. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm tossing every little idea in here now. It's brilliant. I mean, you know, we we we've had, as you know, we've had a lot of problems with some of the um, social media, should we say? Um, but uh, now you know we can live stream on the YouTube channel. Uh, you know, we've got yeah. the, the um, Instagram is up and running again uh, properly. The Facebook is now it's working. Yeah. Um, so slowly, slowly, you know, we're, we're getting out there. And what what I've started to do recently, because this is about the frequency of instruments as well. You know, like the music that's created is being created from like a place of love and harmonious. And you talk about your instruments. Well, you know. I don't think people realize how powerful individual instruments are. So we always say to people, you know, like it's the instruments that are helping you as well as the music. So, you know, flute is good for clarity, you know, for example. And like, you know, you said about the drums, you know, that's great for your immune system. So this is another thing that's helping. There's been a lot of um, publicity recently about Tartaria, and how the yeah. bells and how the church organs used to heal the whole villages. Yes. Well, guess what? That's what we've got in a confined, you know, chamber. And that's what we do. You know, I look at the, the egg and it looks more like a, um, doesn't look like an egg at all, but I get it. But, you know, I'm reminded of a, a space vehicle. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm reminded of a multi-dimensional, a multi-geometrical multi starship when I yeah. look at it, when you it's just safe. close the doors, you know. It's a beautiful safe thing. Yeah. It's safe a beautiful geometry. That's what it is, safe geometry. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I, I just share that because it's a lot of fun. And we're having fun. Now, if you could um, share with us a little technically uh, or a little little background on who invented this. And okay, yeah, where you get it from? Very, very briefly, the lady is called Gail Lynn. She used to be an engineer, and she uh, was dealing with something called the light box in the states for many years. And she wanted to do something to create something for us, you know, for the community, for other people. But she wanted something like with sacred geometry, and I think I believe she like channeled like the designs. Um, and she created, you know, this structure. It took them quite a long time. Um, but it, as I say, it uses sacred geometry. It's built out of wood. So it's a living, breathing um, chamber, you know. And this, what we have now, is like the second version from the, you know, from the original. The only difference between what we have and what other people have is it's like it, inside it's, there's walnut coverings. Um, and the doors open outwards rather than um, before it was like they used to pull the door. But it, it's the same. It, it's mainly in the States. There are about 130 around the world, mainly in the US, mainly in Canada. There are a couple in Europe. I know there's one in Holland. So our friend has been in there. Uh, there's one in Belgium. Uh, the nearest one to us in Mexico is um i think miami uh ecuador and peru mm -hmm. so that you know that they're, they're, they're slowly getting out there and what's what is also interesting is that the more of these devices that go around the world is they all tap into the energy of each other 
So it's more powerful the more devices are out. Yeah, absolutely. The A grid. Okay. Um, yeah, because somebody had asked who who was in in the background of who was in the inventor, and as as um, talking about wood, and that's why I grabbed my toko toko. Yeah, talking about wood, this stuff is the wood that you would make peyote medicine from. So this is peyote medicine in its natural form, untouched. So can you have one made out of peyote wood? <laughs> Please, <laughs> I'll get it. Then I'll put all kinds of stuff all over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Medicine wood, what well, talking wood? I say that's what toko toko means. Is the talking sacred talking wood? I mean, talk to a beaver; they eat wood. <laughs> but this is really nice because it, you know, like it's it breathes. You know, it, it's it's not. There's no there's no EMF. There's no like you know. You don't have to program anything. It's literally. A sound chamber, sound light chamber, harmonics, and you know, deals Amazing. with the frequency. Yeah. Amazing. Um, let's uh, take a little break now. Well, we're, we're moving through this show. It's already been 30 minutes in. Um, let's take a little break to uh, advertise some more of what uh, the Hooners community has to offer and in, in its uh, entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship businesses if we can do that and we'll come back uh, after this little break okay energies in your home and surroundings and waking up in the middle of the night. My work involves clearing individuals, homes, and communities. Contact me at www.lightshaman.earth and I would be happy to help. For all of your high vibrational health care needs, visit Huna Kaparore at www.lightinaction.earth. Tetrahedrons and obelisks for your on-site ceremonies, handmade and coated with Kotahara crystal dust by Huna Hikahima. Shipping is available worldwide. Go to www.shiningstar.earth. Okay, and we're back. Thank you for those who is offering those services. You have uh, sweet, sweet dear ones. You have the links there. Go ahead and uh, check them out. If you are a Huna and you have a business idea or service you want to offer, um, the House of Huna will support this, provided your website has a URL, a domain uh, has the domain includes dot earth. Okay that it is a dot earth website i'm going to share why because dot com refers to corporation over market which means slave master over slave market don't be confused by that don't don't be like yeah it is it's all all about that okay but we're not about that we're about dot earth okay so you go ahead and create your uh, your businesses even, even if you're not a Huna and you create your businesses and you want to get involved in here and, and we start sharing in this way, community is only going to get bigger. And the things that uh, the work that uh, Maru Yata is doing and all the Hunas, we're, we're just sharing all over the world. I tell you, like I just did an interview the other day, Maru Yata, and today I'm informed um, that 
we are now at 90,000 views on that mm -hmm. interview. Um, it's generating a lot of traffic through the website. So, and then any, anyone connected to the House of Hunas through that, through our recommendations, is being seen by that same amount of people. You, you guys all know about networking and uh, the expansion of our grid. So if you go ahead, do those things. You know, we'd love to, uh, to include your, your little, a little ad or a little video and get you out there. Now, um, you are not alone in this, um, in this <laughs> harmonic egg. You have a, your, your lovely wife, your partner, who's incredible. Mm -hmm. Please, uh, is it possible to introduce her to say hi? <laughs> She's a broom. <laughs> she ran away. <laughs> no. She's very shy. She's very yes, shy. Well, we understand. But also, <laughs> let me just say, you know, um, let me just introduce, even if she doesn't show her face, like your uh, your wife. Uh, actually, why don't you do that and just tell a little, a little about you both, your background, how you kind of came together, because you come from totally two different worlds here. I mean, really, Sarah, yeah. about, let, let's share a little bit with us. Do you mind? <laughs> Don't mind. So um, Lena is from Lithuania. Um and we met uh, while working in uh, the National Health Service in the UK, so like the, the British health system. Um, I was in uh, the IT side, Lena was uh, a nurse, still is. Um, and one day I went to fix the computers and she heard she heard me talking and came out to see who I was. And, you know, we had a little chat and we thought nothing of it. And then a couple of weeks later, we were at a mind body spirit event and we just bumped into each other. Um, and that was it. <laughs> quite, quite honestly, that was what? Like, well, come on, let's get some details here. No, no, just like, no, <laughs> we just went over this. It's just getting we, good now. <laughs> no, no, we went for a coffee. We went for a coffee, had a chat, and you know, like nice. we some something just clicked, and 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 then we, you know, we we um started to do more mind body spirit stuff together. Um, we talked about like a healing center many, many years ago. Um, and then with the, like the, you know, the revaluation and the, you know, the, the Munchie system thing, we thought, okay, well, let's, let's set up a healing center. Um, now, interestingly enough, before I met Lena, um, I went to a mind body spirit event and somebody drew me an egg. So I was mm. with my spirit guide or whatever, this guy couldn't get a spirit guide, but he drew me this egg and it, and I, I never knew what this egg was it was just like you know here's a golden egg and this is for you and it's like okay about three years ago we found this this just popped up i was looking at oxygen chambers the hyperbaric chambers and this this egg this harmonic chamber popped up and that's like okay that's interesting it's like oh we'll put we'll put one of those in our in our healing center and we'll put a a um oxygen you know, hyperbaric chamber in as well and about 12 months ago, just over 12 months ago, we got sealed. <laughs> and was it only a year ago now? It was October, October the 1st. We at did that. One. Yeah, last year. Um, and we got, we actually got sealed together, which was a beautiful experience. Yes. Um, and something changed. Well, we know everything changed. And from 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 the seal online we met you in birmingham about two weeks later in the uk then we ended up in uh mont saint michel then we came back to saint michael's mountain in the uk and then we came what was it um we japan and mongolia, mongolia. mongolia. But in in um cornwall i believe we we'd already decided that you know we were going to get this egg with this chamber yeah. And we kept thinking we were going to put it in the UK. Um, and everything, everywhere we looked, every opportunity just fell through and it, we couldn't work it out. And I think I just made a flippant comment to you, like, well, what about Mexico? Bearing in mind, we've never been to Mexico in our life. And that was it. So, so we've, we've not only realised a healing centre, we've got a fantastic modern 
technology that deals with frequency, which is exactly aligned to us and what we do, we're now living in Mexico. So it's been a it's been a it's been a real fascinating journey. And that you know that's where we are now. It is absolutely called upon. Even though I, I you know, even though I just blanket a blanket um, comment like, "You'll never be the same again," <laughs> but you already knew. You, 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 you ultimately you already know. And sometimes these things they just jog your memory. You know, mm. you remember. I, yeah. I remember. Um, we had to do the bump, right? Was it the bump? Yeah, the, yeah. The bump. bump in we had, Birmingham, yeah. We had to do the bump, and I remember you guys sitting there, and we were just sitting there um, in the lounge of my suite in Birmingham. Is it Birmingham? Yeah. Birmingham in, in the UK <laughs> in my suite, and we were just sitting there, and you guys, you it was just tears. It was just tears. And and I I felt like at that moment you were remembering so much was flooding in through those tears the tears of the dragon I called it sweet dear ones the the, the tears of compassion the tears of remembering the uh, and you know obviously your DNA knew your of course your higher self knew and you're both wonderful beautiful people you represent uh, i just think you represent the united kingdom at the, the highest vibration you're so loving the both of you um the 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 egg deserves to be with you i suppose i can say that when you talk about it, you have to be aligned to it well yeah you know and i just think in these words i can say that the egg deserves you uh, uh, more than you know, more than you deserve it, because ultimately, I mean, it's there to to help and expand and build the bridge for others to come. Um, because ultimately, people are still trying to remember the connection to DNA and healing themselves, and healing themselves. That you 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 you're building that bridge, but you you both, uh, sweet sweet dear ones, we refer to Huna Maruyata and Ma Aikuta as the elves <laughs> when we say we're when we're talking about okay did you call the elves when, when you're in conversation with other hooners or we need to go and do something we all we always we always uh concur that hey did you call the elves let's make sure they know <laughs> or, or they're coming with us or something yeah because you represent all what is good and beautiful about healing all what has the love and the compassion and, and you you know, you represent the, the United Kingdom. You represent Avalon at its high, highest vibration. It's, just, it's this vibration that you carry that is taking Avalon to the highest heights. Really, really. I, I'm, not, I'm not mistaken. I ain't got to lie either. Because I've worked with you. And I've worked with many in the UK. Trust me. And um, we are honored to have you here with us. Uh, Thank you. The, the the one the one thing that keeps coming up at the moment um, is Lemuria, and of course, you know, we're very much about Lemuria. And this is Lemurian technology mm -hmm. that we're bringing mm -hmm. into that we're bringing into the present time. So we've worked with this before. Yes. You know, Lena especially has worked with this technology and these frequencies before, and we are both remembering. So that's why it found us because it was always meant to find us and, and that you know that again aligns with everything we're doing and what you're doing and it's it's moving us forward in a place where we're helping and healing everyone around us the the the, the new this is going to be the new trend there sweet sweet dear one sweet dearly beloveds the new trend is a harmonic egg center with a little bit of a a jam lounge, music lounge, Zen lounge is what, what he calls it. So it's the Zen lounge. That's going to be the new thing. It's not going to be a cafe or coffee restaurant thing on the side. The street is going to be, oh, you got to go to the Zen lounge, you know, because the egg is there. So, every, hey, come on. This is the new thing, right? This is this is how we were. 
Everything we did in Lemuria we had all of these feelings there with it everywhere. We carried it with us. We are we are certainly more we are certainly walking walking eggs, <laughs> walking <laughs> medbeds. Um sometimes I've been called an egg, but that's a whole nother conversation. Um so um I'm looking forward to 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 helping to just accelerate that out in the consciousness and getting that out of the consciousness. I support you 111 percent, uh, mm -hmm. and and all the Hunas that I do support. I will. House of Huna supports these initiatives. Um, I had a thought and it just escaped me. Oh, so with your wife being from Lithuania, will yeah. you considering uh, setting also up another uh, office or another center in Lithuania? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the idea is, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, like, you know, we, we our goal has always been for not just one no healing chamber. We want multiples. We certainly would love to put one in Lithuania because then her, her family can get involved in it and we can help, you know, help people in the Baltics. You know, they, 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 it's a, you know, they need just as much help and assistance with this oh. as we do. You know, or the whole world needs it. So, yeah, you know, as Ooh. soon as we can, boom, it's in there. You know, we want to have more in Mexico as well and uh, so that we, we grow what we're doing. But, you know, we've, we've, we've got to relearn to, to do this and how to do it properly. And, you know, we're introducing things, like I said before, that maybe other centres haven't got. So, you know, it's, it's work in progress, but it's, it's fluid. And, you know, we change, we change when we need to. Yes, I, I have been in that area. I've been to um, Estonia, where I did a lot of Stargate work in Estonia. I'm quite familiar with the energies on, in the Baltic. I've been around it a lot. I was just at Stargate number 20, that was in Stargate 22, mm. and, and Gotland, that's in the Baltic. So, um, and I know that your the lineage of your wife, of uh, the Lithuanians, they were all, connected through there, through the border of Russia, Siberia, especially mm -hmm. Siberia and the Siberian shaman lineage. Um, if you're not familiar, but you probably are. There were a lot of healers that came out of the out of that that location have come to the world. A lot of channels, a lot of mediums, a lot of psychics, um, a lot of fake ones, but some a lot of really, really authentic ones mm -hmm. that I have worked with. I've worked with a, a couple of them over the years before I came to Mexico. Um, yes, incredible healers that way and, and your wife's lineage through all through there. I look forward to it. I'm sure they do. People also are asking for one to be gone to uh, set up in New Zealand as well. So you're going to be busy. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> you're going to be totally busy. And in the, in the smaller details, in the, in the closest, uh, the details nearest to us that we can handle, um, we we'll support what you're doing by, uh, you know, creating, you create that Zen lounge, mm -hmm. get on, let's get all over that. Got to get all over that brother. That'll just open up a whole, whole list of clientele and networking and just people want to be in that vibe, mm -hmm. that feeling. Anything else you want to add here before we bounce? Uh, and I continue on with. No, no. As I say, you know, we, we, we help, in person, we help remotely, and the remote sessions are as powerful as being here. That's it. Uh, and sweet, sweet, dear ones, any questions for Huna? If you have any questions, I'm going to invite you to come on to the screen, into the stream. We we answer, we we offer answers face to face. Okay, so we want to see who you are. That's how we are. This is the this is the Huna Flash TV, live and interactive, sometimes wriggling and squirming around in your seat. That's Still. okay. <laughs> That's fun too. If you don't have any questions, then maybe you can save it for the next time. Or email. Now, could you just give us your details before we bounce? Yeah, so the email is apapacha.earth at gmail.com. Uh, the website is apapacha.earth, which is a p a p a c h a r then dot earth. Uh, we have an Instagram page, which is also apapacha underscore earth, and I think the Facebook is now apapacha Mexico. 
Um, uh, I'm sure the details will be down below. So, yeah. Case. Oh, oh, somebody, Eduardo is here. Let's bring Eduardo in. You got a got a question. Greetings, Eduardo. Buenas noches. Or buenas Greetings. Tardes. Hi. Hi. Where are you? I am currently in Portugal. Ah, oh. yes. You have a question for Huna for Model Yata? Yeah, yeah. So the whole idea of the egg, if I get it right, is basically like it's a consecrated space and and so is it maybe comparable to linga technology to shivlings and how they also generate this toroidal field wherein people just naturally enter a meditative state so that it's like but then this one is enclosed yeah right? yeah 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 i mean you you, it, you sit it's like it is a chamber but it's like bigger than the car um when you actually sit in there um you don't actually mm -hmm. have to close the doors but you know we, we we suggest you do the pe most people that go in there uh are very very relaxed quite a few people fall asleep um <laughs> so it actually does you know it, it, i mean it, the whole thing is it is it takes you above um I'm trying to think now take you know your body the frequency is taken above like any disease or any sort of um issues that the body may have yeah so so yeah the meditative state the frequencies the music it just relaxes people so but how does it generate that like because i know that the linga <clears throat> i'm interested in linga and i've been studying it myself um uh, and uh it the the idea is that these hindu scientists yogis they they download uh mm -hmm. this pranic voltage into into the crystalline structure yes. of the linga uh the, they call it a divinity or whatever and then that's what's emanating that's what's radiating that that frequency that people just uh can be consecrated by but how does this one work it's very much a case of the frequency of the music. So it's the, it's like the dynamic music, depending on the instrument uh, and the actual frequency of that, that particular song is how it works. So you may have different musics, uh, different lights for um, to start off with. When somebody comes in for the first time, we create something called an autonomic nervous system reset. So again, that's when it takes your body to like a, a higher vibration. The music, depending on the, the instruments, you know, can work on different parts of your body. So you may work on the liver, you may work on stress, you may work on creativity, but it's all to do with the frequency of the music and the frequency of the instruments in that music. Some music will just be say like piano music and some you know bird songs or whatever because that actually helps your autonomic nervous system relax and take you into that take you out of anxiety and stress and that's why people come out feeling very relaxed and very calm so any stress that they may have had just just you know is taken away so there's speakers in there there are there are two speakers in in the actual chamber so <clears throat> but when you're in there, it's like feels like your your whole body's enclosed in the in the in the speak in, in the music. But we've also got yeah. lights, so they're like, you know the the lights in there are so different colours. So the, the the standard when we start off is like blues and greens or purples. But we have reds, yellows, greens. Um, so also that you, your body is receiving like the photons from from the light. Mm -hmm. so, working on a multi levels and your body can feel it in a cellular level so when the music's played you can quite often feel the music in your body and that also yeah because bet. Bet. Yeah, i can imagine how it could even be amplified just like huna uh huna flash said yeah. by making it out of some special wood and then embedding all sorts of crystals and things in it <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, it works very well now because it's to do with the shape. It's like a sacred, sacred geometric shape. So yeah, you can't very, see it that well on the picture, but I can imagine it must yeah. be really beautiful in person. Yeah, it, as I say, if you actually sit inside it, it's bigger than a small car. 
so it's okay. not you know, it's that, not at all yeah, yeah. Um, restrictive and you know like i put my arms out and you, there's no way you can touch the sides um the chair you can sit up straight or it's a zero gravity chair so you can lie down so when people are in there they can be lying flat <laughs> with the eyes closed and like, you know, little meditation themselves. It's, it's just a very quiet yeah. place. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for this uh, little chat. And, Maybe. Uh, Thank you. Hey, Eduardo, um, before you go, can you send me an email of your location and what you do um, over oh, there? Sure. Oh, my, my Portugal. Battery, no. Oh no! I'm on one percent. Hold on, I'm gonna get my charger. <laughs> All right, got it. Come on. Come on, back hit. Give yeah. me another ninety-nine percent. Come on, back hit. Give me another ninety-nine percent, dude. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I threw it in my room. Hold on, let me get some lighting going here. I just while just, while you're well, well, now, well, uh, uh, one of the one of the bits of music in here would be would be so we talk about not just instruments but we use like there's nature as well so this the, the latest bits of music that's being created are actually being created from in Peru and they've got a background of bees plus other instruments now we've not heard it yet because it's not out so with the music is also changing on a you know every few months they're adding they're adding sacred music to to, to what we can help people with fantastic yeah is that so the inventor of the egg mm -hmm. they have they have an app that operates the egg so there's always coming from the main center uh, if there is a main center yeah. like a headquarters yeah yeah, so so they 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 um, connect. With, yeah, they they connect with um, uh, artists, you know, composers, and um, they work out, you know, whether or not it's suitable for the egg. So recently, she went out to Peru, and they've they've created three bits of music that have um, B like B sound in the background. As what well, we don't know what instruments are on there, but um, she, 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 they were recorded in three different locations um, in Peru. So that's like the next thing for next year. You know, I, I think last time we talked about Hawaii, um, there was music created by I think he's called Uncle George, and so it's like um, Hawaiian chants that actually as part of the music, as well as like you know the ukulele and the other music in the background. So. Th there's multiple bits of music. It's not just, you know, like piano music. There are other things as well. Yeah, I mean, um, I, I, I don't know if you remember, um, Kahasa, he and I were performing at one of the Burning Mask events, and I was composing some music, and I called it um, the mumbling. Mm. <laughs> Mumbling that at some moments it sounded like a bunch of bees in a lower octave, <laughs> and then in the higher in a higher octave and harmony, I it, it just looked sounded like a whole nother thing. Someone had mentioned bees have a variety of frequencies. Absolutely, yeah, and that's why they're doing it. You know, so we look forward to hearing that next year. So that might come out February, March next year. So we'll be able to use that as another healing bit of music. Oh, I'm going to produce that as well. These, this, the, the, the tune, the mumbling. Um, Eduardo, maybe he did fall off his seat. Um, someone's having a good giggle at you right now, Eduardo. And you know what? You know, be, being Eduardo is from Portugal. That's where the, the that's where the ukulele comes from, Portugal. Um, I don't know if he can hear, but anyway, I hope he does. Email me, Eduardo, or he'll email all of us, but certainly email me because. Uh, I, uh, there are so many that are interested in if, whether myself I will be in uh, whether I will be in Portugal and I will be in Europe again coming up very soon probably March April um, and then you know perhaps we can connect. Okay, so um, anyway, he's, he seems to have gone. So <laughs> it's just 
Let's just make that formal. <laughs> there he is. Uh -huh. Oh, what have we got here? We've got, uh, okay, we've got a picture of you both. I don't know why we can't see it. Why can't we see it? Because you took it down. Did I take it down? <laughs> yes, why? you did. I was trying to show the, the size of it. Oh, where is it? Like, were you uh, show, were you, oh, there it is. There you go. Yeah. Now there's the uh, this the uh, illustrious uh, Lena Huna Maakuta, is that right? Maakuta, yeah. yeah. Lena Maakuta. There you go. All right, um, Huna, thank you so much. This was fun. Yeah, I look forward to the Zen Lounge, brother. <laughs> Might be spending a lot of time hanging out there. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. yeah, look forward to creating it. I'll bring food. Hell, I'll even cook if you want. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Well, let's uh, let's. Of course, we we need to give them some updates um, as soon as you have some dates and things, and we'll advertise it for sure all all around to the community, and uh, cool. everybody can tune in and maybe even show up there. Three dear ones, come on over to Mexico. This is the this is where Lemuria Five actually was activated. Okay, in two thousand and eight. 2019 it was activated lemura 5 all right actually activated and anchored into the codes all right now when you're coming here to, to the mayan territories yes you're coming to mexico there's so much to see uh and now we have the amazing harmonic egg nanu nanu okay <laughs> nanu nanu you may you may walk away with the greeting nanu nanu and um come and join us at the next event thank you so much brother thank you Pleasure. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll see you again shortly. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thanks, everybody. Bye bye. Ciao.